what do we got here? The Bosch setup, magnetic coil. I don't know what all these wires are, we'll have to work that out. Ballast resistor on here. And we're still running the regular points. But we're going to get rid of this lot, all this lot, and I think we'll go Dinaplex. So here's the brackets, that's where your Dinaplex would go. But not just any Dinaplex. Let's go and have a look at what we're doing. Distributor. I ain't got any points in there, look, hall sensor. Coil. Some leads, nice set of leads there. More leads. What else we got in there? Ah, cap. What's this? An early Dinaplex for the looks of it. Yeah, it looks smart, doesn't it? What this is, is Stefan's setup. So Stefan Elshot, Elshot Engineering, makes all this stuff. What we've got is we've got a hall sensor, hall effect here set up. You see with the pickups on there. And what we have is we have a fixed shaft here. So it gets rid of all the bob weights and all the advance is done via the MSD lot that's all in here. So he puts it all into a genuine Dinaplex box, replaces these. See in here's the riveting. See the rivets? All the correct finish on the rivets. Look at that. Perfection. So this gets rid of all your points. It gets rid of the bob weights. And then the advance is all done electronically. Now this is the go-to system. This is the only system I'll fit now. I won't muck about with anything else, and to be honest, I won't even muck about with the original anymore. So the thing to do is to get this lot off Stefan, buy the complete lot, and then take the original off and put it on the shelf and keep it for provenance. Or if, like what you've seen on that one, and it's just sort of some bit of hodgepodge thing, yeah, all right, we'll keep the distributor, but the rest of it, you know, isn't really... Well, we'll keep it, but it's not really relevant anymore. This is the way to go. So let's go and fit it. Right, let's get this lot apart, see what we got. But City, running a bit rich, isn't it? I think we knew that. Also plenty of oil on the ends of them. Well, that's where it's drained down onto it. Same here, very sooty. Yeah, we'll sort that out. I'll put new plugs in it anyway. Makes sense to photograph all this lot, but we're videoing it, aren't we? So that'll suffice. It's obviously been knocking out around here, hasn't it? Now we 
might have to be having a look at this lot and see what's going on here. This looks like slightly diversion from factory, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, we'll see. We want to get the engine timed up. So here's the timing marker off the front of one of these Dino engines. So that's 10 before, and that's 3 or 4. So it's firing on 3 or 4 if it lines up with that one. So let's have a look and see what we got. So down in here we can see our marks. So you can see our line on the crankshaft pulley. We're in gear. So what we want to do is move it around to that second mark. So we're on the 10 before at the minute, aren't we? So we've got it in gear. So if I rock the thing, if I can manage to do that whilst holding this, we should be able to bump it round to where we want it. Oop, too far. About there, isn't it? What does that look like? Spot on, isn't it there? What does that look like? Get some light on there. That'll do, won't it? See? Maybe a touch back, but it's so little it's not really worth worrying about for what we're doing. There, perfect. So now we need to know which one we're actually firing on, three or four. So there's four. See the pistons up? See that, you can see the top of the piston there. That's number four. Or well, we've got number three. Which is over there. See the pistons up? So the one it's firing on is going to be the one that the valves are closed on. So if we do that trick of blowing down there with the tube, we'll be able to see if it'll blow down there or not. And that'll tell us whether the valves are closed. Now obviously they're closed, it's firing, isn't it? If they're closed. If they're open, it is not. So that's how we'll work out where, which one's firing, which will tell us Um, where our rotor arm is going to be pointing towards, which we want to know for where we're going to put it for this next bit of the job, isn't it? So let's see if we can do that. Right, there's resistance on that one. So that'll be firing on number three. Let's have a look at number four. The trouble is I can't hold the camera and hold this tube at the same time. Put that back on number four there. Right, you can see number four there. Put the tube in. quite the best tube but it will do. No resistance on that. So the valves are open on number four but they're shut on number three which means that's what we're firing on number three. So that's where we set the strip up. So we take that out and put the new distributor in there, distributor in there, yeah? So we want the pointer facing that way, don't we? See? There you go. That's what we want. Let's get this distributor out. So we'll be doing away with all this, won't we, in one foul swoop, which is good. Got a dog driving, 
That's nicely machined, isn't it? Nice piece. There we go. Motron's pulling over there. Should be good. Firing number three, didn't we? So number three is going to be there. So it's that one. But remember, it's not going to be there inside the distributor cap, is it? It's because it goes over there, doesn't it? You see? Oh, let's get this in there. So, what are we looking at? See how that goes all the way through there to there? So the arm's going to be pointing there, whereas on a sort of old-fashioned, you know, normal distributor cap, the one it's coming out of would be where the pickup would be. So your pickup would be there, wouldn't it? But it's not on this, so you'd expect the arm to be pointing there. Well, of course, it's not pointing there, it's pointing to there, which is how we've got it. Pointing over there. So that's fine. putting that in there so it doesn't fall off. Now you see all this wiring down in here. Well, I'm actually going to take the compressor off, horn compressor off. Okay, move that spanner before it bridges that across. Right, so we've got a horn mounting here. Yeah, sorry, we've got a mounting for a coil there and we've got a Dinoplex mountings there. So let's get that in place and see what we've got, I think. We'll just lay things out and then we should be able to sort it out from there, I think. Right, there we are, that's fitted. I'll have to shorten a couple of the cables, but we're sort of there. Give it a go, see if it'll start up. All right. That's a success, isn't it? Set the carbs up, and that'll be done. <laughs>